The name scholars breakfast. There uh, is a purposefulness about this morning. Uh, the intentionality of uh, saying it's really important to invest in young people and to see the returns uh, and to see a number of you here return uh, who uh, have traveled from a far distance or from a close by distance and to make the effort to be here today. And there are some lovely stories that I won't go into depth about, but I'll just highlight what I'm suggesting about lovely stories. Uh, for example, somebody just came up to me and, and said that it is her son's 32nd birthday. Well, her son is someone who's remembered in having this name scholarship. So there are families here, there are friends here who are celebrating that investment and finding ways to have returns and dividends on it. And so part of the purposefulness today is to express gratitude. Gratitude to the students for being here and fulfilling that sense of investment. Gratitude to those who have given to support programs uh, like this and students who are here this morning. Gratitude to the extended families who are here. The expectations are simply that you will know that it's important to make good use of what you've been given. And if you ever find yourself in a situation like uh, one where you can, can give back, then remember how important these investments are. We're going to start with a little bit of music. And we have uh, about six or seven of the students uh, who are here this morning. If you'd please come up, Bill, Rashid, Payne, Gabe, Elon, Ian, and Drew. And they're going to play a song that I think most of you know, Georgia On My Mind. Please recognize these students with me. A speaker or two typically at this event and this morning we are privileged to have um, Paul Moore class of 2013 who will come up momentarily but first uh, we'll have Larry and Elizabeth Papel come up. Larry and Elizabeth have uh, two sons uh, Sam and Robert who have graduated from MBA and they were uh, good friends of uh, Paul and his family so please join me in thanking and welcoming the Papels as they come up.
thank you, Brad. This is so nice to be back here. Um, our youngest graduated in 14, so this is the first time we've really been in here as a part of the MBA community since then. Um, when Brad asked us to say a few words about MBA and the friendships that our boys um, made at MBA, I immediately thought about Paul Moore and his family. Freddie and, and Mary and Paula and um, his brothers and sister. Um, our oldest son and Paul started in 2006 in seventh grade and just immediately became fast friends. And by the ninth grade, they just hit it as the best friends of all. Um, they've done, we have so many wonderful, wonderful memories. They were on the rowing team and I think they were on the first rowing team, and I think it was Paul who talked Robert into being a coxswain on the team. Um, we just can't say enough about the MBA community and how it has helped um, foster this fabulous relationship. And I think it didn't really, it doesn't matter where um, the boys grew up and where they're, what area of town these two guys are going to be fast friends for the rest of their lives. And then Paul also, and our youngest son, Sam, who was in the class behind him, became really close friends. And then we've gotten to be such close friends with Freddie and Mary. It's just a special relationship, and it's because of MBA and the community that you provide here for these boys to be challenged and to learn and to grow. So, Paul, congratulations. This is great. Um, thank you, Elizabeth. You know, to all of the named scholars today, um, speaking as a boys' school graduate in the 70s, in an even smaller environment than MBA, you have, because of the smallness of this school, what, 110 of you per year or so, the opportunity and the resources that this school provides and the community that it provides, you can become great teammates. You can become great leaders. You have opportunities because of where you are to do that. You know, we watch that with our boys and Paul and their many classmates who did become great teammates. And you know, as parents, to watch that, it's why we send our children here. It's why we look for opportunities to help others come here. Um, we've never been to this event before. This is stirring uh, in every way. Uh, the opportunities made here are tremendous. So if we have a charge for you, it's take advantage of the opportunity to become a great teammate, whether it's debate or rowing or football or any of the other great activities because it's a small place, you can be cheered for that. Everybody will root for your success. That's not true everywhere in life, but it's true here. So take advantage of that. So That's we're great. going to bring Paul up now. Good morning, everybody. Definitely a different position to be in. A couple years back, I guess six now. I was sitting in these same seats, didn't see myself giving this type of speech, but I'm definitely thankful to be here, and I thank Mr. Joy and the school for giving me this opportunity. Just wanted to take a little time and highlight different parts of my experience, and I definitely want to piggyback off the papels and highlight the MBA community. That bond that you all are starting to build and will continue to build throughout your time here will be so special. For one reason being that you do have your biggest supporters right next to you. Everyone in your class is going to cheer you on, whether you're in debate, whether you're on the football field, or whether you're excelling as a merit scholar. You all will support each other through the great times. And if there's ever a rough time, these will still be the same people that you're looking to for support and to lean on. I could give you countless stories, but I'll save you the time on that and just let you know that those experiences are there. And quite often, alumni will say things like, if I could do it again, I would. And you really won't understand that until you graduate. Because once you leave this community, there are so many facets that just don't exist in the greater world. Everyone around you won't always be looking to support you. 
life moves very quickly. You won't always be sharing the same activities in the same eight to 12 hour a day with people. So really cherish this bond you get here. And to speak to the financial aid, the scholarship opportunities of this school, a, I'm thankful for my experiences and for those who gave to me and my family to make this possible, but also highlight that these opportunities allow families who are adopting children to give their sons a great education. Families that are potentially displaced from disasters who move to Nashville, it also gives them families an opportunity as well. So financial aid is important, giving is important, Having that community come together to support for a single cause is very important, and NBA does that so well. So I'm just, again, thankful for my experiences. I'm thankful to be able to speak here today. I'm thankful to be an example of you know, a student who has walked through these doors and has moved on. I graduated from Vanderbilt in 2017 with a mechanical engineering degree. I would then move up to DC and start working in software engineering with Capital One. And the work ethic I carry with me was laid, the foundation was laid here in the halls of MBA. So again, very thankful fully for my experience. Thank you. Thank you, Paul, and thank you to Robert and Elizabeth Papel. Uh, I am now going to recognize all of the scholars and I'll uh, just ask you to stand uh, and remain standing until I finish reading all the names. And uh, I'm going to read them simply in, in the order of the family or donor who's give, who's, who, whose name you have in terms of the name scholarship. I was thinking early this morning, I do most of my thinking when I'm exercising early, and uh, I reflected that uh, I was on financial aid in college, and I do not know who gave that financial aid. And I thought this morning, you know, how nice it is to come to an event and be aware that there's a definite individual person, family behind this gift, this investment, as I mentioned earlier, and, and how important it is to see the returns on that investment. So I think that is one of the great aspects of this morning. We've converted something that used to be quiet into something now that is a public honor and recognition. So would the Wallman scholars please stand? Mario Monsor, Stephen Meyer, Wills Jackson. Would the Wallman family scholars please stand? Coleman Carr, Roman Urbanzik, Jax Leisure. Would the Wallace scholar please stand? Jaron Leisure. The Van Webb scholar, Forrest Sutpin. The Wilbur Sensing scholar, George Bull. The Dan W. Maddox scholar, Garrett Goodrum. The June Bowen Scholar, Jace Cramblett. The Bronson Ingram Scholars, Will Montana, Ashton Terrell, Cayman Cook, Elon Paez, Noah Perry, Marcel Reed, Jess Johnson, Easton Ice. The Dudley Warner Scholar, Alex Phillips. The John L. Ambrose Scholar, Jonathan Moore. The Wiley Family Scholars, Colton Erickson, Justin Crossland, Thomas Meyer. The M. Stratton Foster Scholar, Zane Thompson. The William S. Cochran Scholar, Matthew Duke. The Patrick Hale Scholars, Harrison Jackson, Jack Code. The, a, the Al J. Lynx Scholar, Houston Erickson. The Boys and Girls Club Scholar, Nick Brunetti. The Carolyn Scholar, Kendrick Abernathy. The Class of 1952 Scholar, Taryn Davis. The Elizabeth Smith Scholar, Benedict Urbanzik. The Davis Scholars, Emmett Castile, Joaquin Ekgari, George Ma, William Payne, Escher Young, Nate Holder, Gabe Lett, Jake Truitt, Gabriel Young, Peyton Alexander, Payne Daniel, David Hahn, Wyatt Walters, Drew Chandra, Jackson Francis, Bill O. Young, Brian Zhang, Tanir Ghosh, Rashid Saria, Colin Tang, Thomas Tatro, Luke Boyer, Finn Houghton. The Mac Glasgow Scholar, Graham Holzapple. The Jackson P. Gibbs Scholar, 
Thomas Vargason, the John Gilbert Rogers Scholar, Brantley Golzinski, the J.C. Bradford Jr. Scholar, K.J. Jones, the Downey Scholar, Diego Escobar, the Dorch Oldham Sr. Scholar, Robbie Barnes, the Allen Scholar, T.J. Bradley, the Reagan Jewett Scholar, Max Scheel, the Eric Falk Scholar, Mark Pyburn, the Kellum Scholar, Robert Holliday, the Miles for Miles Scholar, Ian Dorelli, the Allison Powell, Powell Tom Vandiver Scholar, Hill Odetti, the Joe and Barbara Haynes Scholar, Aidan Conley, and the Carlton Scholar, Nick Cantrell. Please join me in welcoming all these young men. <laughs> Gentlemen, please be seated. As you've noted, I'm sure there are certificates on the tables for you. Uh, this is meant to be a short and sweet breakfast. I'm always conscious of time around here. I have advisory in just a few minutes. So I am uh, going to say Again, a great thanks to the families who are here, our students and their families, uh, to all of those of you who are part of the generosity and, 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 and scholarship of this morning, uh, to Paul Moore and Freddie Moore for being here. We appreciate you both tremendously, to Robert and Elizabeth, sorry, to, to the Papels <laughs> and uh, to Larry and Elizabeth uh, Papel, and to all of my colleagues for helping make this a great morning. So thanks very much. Have a great day.